Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For the text version of this quiz, please install GK Today Academy app. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. Now we have started a new channel, Civil Academy. So you can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now let's start. Which state has approved digital economy mission to promote startups, e-commerce and other gig economy companies? Now what is the meaning of this term? gig economy it means informal jobs like jobs for short term or freelancing job so this state is karnataka and this mission is incorporated as a new company in which karnataka state government will have 49 percent stakes and other stakeholders will have 51 percent stakes the idea is to give a boost to startups e-commerce and other gig economy companies now recently Karnataka was in use as it partnered with Flipkart to promote the art and crafts. Karnataka was in use because of this collaboration. Now, Flipkart was in use as recently Flipkart acquired 100% stakes in Walmart India. So now Flipkart Wholesale will launch its operations in August for the services for grocery and fashion segment. India is developing a 30 second rapid testing kit for COVID-19 in collaboration with which country? So this country is Israel. And from Indian side, DRDO is going to work on this project. What is DRDO? It is Defense Research Development Organization. It is under MOD, that is Ministry of Defense. Now Israel was also in news because of OFAC 16. It was in news as Israel named a street after Ravindranath Tagore as a tribute to his 159th birth anniversary. So a street was named after Gurudev Ravindranath Tagore by the Israel. Now the country was also in use because two new Israeli assault rifles Arad and Carmel. Now these will be manufactured in our country. As for the cooling emissions and policy synthesis report by UNEP and IEA, what is the estimated number of cooling machines in the world by 2050? So the estimated number is going to be 14 billion and it is a report by IEA and UNEP. Now there is a term Kigali Amendment. Please read about this term. This is your homework. So UNEP is United Nations Environment Program. The headquarters of UNEP is in Nairobi in Kenya. On the other hand, IEA is a Paris based organization and it was established under the framework of OECD. What is OECD? It is Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. What is the first domestic air carrier of India to operate to the United States? So after coronavirus, countries close their international flights. Now we are restarting those flights and this is being done on case by case basis. That means government of India is having the agreement with other countries to start air bubbles. This term air bubble, travel bubble and all these terms associated with this entire issue has already been discussed in a special video on civil circuit. So this air carrier is SpiceJet and it has been designated as scheduled air carrier to operate between India and USA. And it is the first air carrier to operate to the USA after Air India. Which social media platform is set to partner with the banks to expand rural banking services? So it is WhatsApp. So WhatsApp will partner with different banks to expand the rural banking services. It is important to note that India is the biggest market of WhatsApp with over 400 million users. Now, WhatsApp was in news as recently it launched WhatsApp Pay facility in Brazil. And this facility was recently suspended by the Brazilian authorities. Now, recently Brazil was in news because of Marcus Trojo. So, he is from Brazil and recently he was elected as the new president of New Development Bank. New Development Bank is the bank of BRICS countries that is Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. The headquarters of New Development Bank is in Shanghai. Shanghai is in China and there is an organization named after Shanghai. It is SCO that is Shanghai Cooperation Organization. The headquarters of SCO is in Beijing and Turkmenistan is one such Central Asian country. Out of those five Central Asian countries, Turkmenistan is not a member of SCO. Recently, Turkmenistan was in news as it became the 25th observer of WTO. What is WTO? It is World Trade Organization. WTO 
was also in news as its director general is Roberto Azevedo and recently he announced that he is going to step down from the post of director general and Roberto Azevedo is from Brazil which company has been approved to acquire the Krishna Patnam Port Company Limited so this company is Adani Ports SEZL and recently CCI that is Competition Commission of India approved this acquisition this Krishna Patnam Port Company is the developer and operator of deep water port at Krishna Patnam and this place is in Andhra Pradesh now what is CCI it is a statutory body and it was established in 2003 the headquarters is in new delhi now recently adani ports sezl that is adani ports and special economic zone limited became the first indian port to sign the sbti what is sbti it is science based target initiative so what is the objective of this initiative objective is now adani ports has committed to set up a science based emission reduction targets so this initiative is related to emission reduction and adani ports became the first port in our country to sign this sbti women officers in which indian armed force have been granted permanent commission so recently ministry of defense issued a notification and allowed permanent commission to the women in indian army this entire issue has been discussed in the hindu analysis of 25th of july so you can check it from there now recently indian army was in news as indian army got bharat drones and drdo provided these drones to indian army what is drdo it is defense research and development organization it is under mod that is ministry of defense so these bharat drones are for surveillance what is the name of unified mentoring platform launched by union msm minister so the name of this platform is restart india and it is related to msm sector name of the platform is restart india MSM minister is Nitin Gadkari and this platform has been conceptualized by Muthoot Group and Ink Talks so these two are related to this Restart India platform what is the objective of this platform it is a single platform which provide information on the various schemes implemented by the government of india so it will provide all the information related to MSM sector now Nitin Gadkari is present MSM minister his constituency is Nagpur and recently aims Nagpur was in news as it developed smart wrist band to track the coronavirus positive and suspected patients recently msm sector was also in news as government launched champions portal to provide a boost to msm sector operation legend which was in news is associated with which country so this is associated with usa and recently us president mr donald trump announced this operation legend so as per this initiative federal agents will be sent in various cities to take firm action on the violent crimes now apart from this operation legend few other operations were in news please read about these operations operation desert siege operation samudra setu operation decisive storm operation shield operation sanjeevani and operation rap speed who has been appointed as new health secretary of india succeeding preeti sudan so recently rajesh bhushan has been appointed as new health secretary and as of now he is work as osd that is officer on special duty and from 31st of july he will take charge as the new health secretary present health secretary is preeti sudan now apart from this appointment recently tata aia life limited appointed navin tahiliani as the md and ceo in addition to that recently government of india appointed pp sen gupta as the new md and ceo of iob what is iob it is indian overseas bank dst that is department of science and technology has launched a 15 crore fund to support the research collaboration with which country so this country is russia initiative is taken by dst and it is india russia joint technology assessment and accelerated commercialization program and this fund has been launched in partnership with ficci and fa SIE what is FASIE it is foundation for assistance to small innovative enterprises so this is an entity of russia on the other hand fikki is our organization and recently sangeeta reddy became the new president of fikki fikki was also in news because of #reimagine campaign answer in comment box 
For this campaign, Vicky collaborated with which organization? Now, Russia was also in news as recently it conducted a successful flight test of a 3D printed aircraft engine. Russia was also in news because of Ambarnaya River. Astro's mission, which was in news recently, is associated with the space agency of which country? So, right answer is USA. The space agency of USA is NASA, and this mission, that is Astro's mission, is related to NASA. Now, what is the objective of this mission? As per this mission, NASA will send a telescope on a balloon and it will be sent in stratosphere. And this mission will be launched in 2023 and it will be launched from Antarctica. Best price that was acquired by Flipkart is the wholesale business of which company? So, it is the wholesale business of Walmart and recently Flipkart has acquired Walmart India. So, these were the most important questions of today's quiz. Now, we are going to cover important news section. So, feel free to skip it if you do not like this section. So, the first news is related to WUC that is waterways usage charges. So, like you pay toll tax for using road highways. Similarly, there are charges for using the waterways. And recently, shipping ministry waived these waterway charges to promote the inland water transport. And these charges have been waived for three years. So, as per the National Waterways Act of 2016, there are total 111, that is triple one, national waterways in our country. Next is world-class state of art honey testing laboratory. So, this laboratory was recently inaugurated by Union Agriculture Minister and this was inaugurated at Anand in Gujarat. Next is James Webb Space Telescope. So, recently this telescope was in news as NASA, that is the space agency of USA, has rescheduled the launch of James Webb Space Telescope. Previously, it was scheduled for March 2021. Now, it will be launched in October 2021. Next is SCO Health Minister's Meeting. SCO is Shanghai Cooperation Organization. India-Pakistan became the member of SCO after Astana Summit in 2017. And there is an organization associated with SCO. It is RATS. So, SEO Health Minister's meeting was organized recently and it was attended by Dr. Harshwardhan. Next is Audit Online. So, recently Ministry of Panchayati Raj has decided to conduct the online audit and it will be conducted through this application Audit Online. Next is Currency Swap Facility. So, recently India and Sri Lanka signed a Currency Swap Agreement for the Currency Swap of $400 million. So, this has been signed between India and Sri Lanka. Next is DP Singh Committee. So recently, MHRD Ministry, that is Ministry of Human Resource Development, has set up this committee and this committee will frame the guidelines to ensure that more students stay in India and continue their higher studies. So this committee will suggest the ways that how we can retain our talent so that people do not go abroad for higher studies and instead of that, they can continue to pursue their higher studies in India itself. Next is related to Khelo India Youth Games. So, the fourth edition will be in Haryana. Next is Kargil Vijay Divas. So, it is on 26th of July. Now, Operation Vijay is also related to Kargil. Next is RFID that is Radio Frequency Identification Tags. So, Indian Railways has announced that it will use RFID for tracking all the wagons of Indian Railways by 2022. That means by 2022, RFID will be fitted on all these wagons. Next is Kumhar Sashaktikaran Yojana. So, it is a scheme of KVIC and the scheme is associated to the porters. So, the scheme is for the empowerment of porters. Why the scheme was in news recently as Union Home Minister distributed 100 electric porter wheels to the porters in his constituency Gandhinagar. So, this is a scheme of KVIC. KVIC is Khadi and Village Industries Commission. It is under MSME Ministry and it is a statutory organization. Next is Draft Environment Impact Assessment. So, these three topics that is Draft Environment Impact Assessment and Issues Associated with it, Anti-Defection Law and Kuwait Expatriate Bill. These three topics have already been discussed in the Hindu Analysis and this is uploaded on Civil Academy channel. Now, homework for you. So, first is what is herd immunity and second is read about all those operations which we discussed in a previous question and third homework is Please read about these three terms. So that was all for the day. Thank you.